Welcome back, everybody. Um, this is now episode 5 of Epic Mickey. Um, unfortunately, we still have that bar in the bottom left corner. I didn't realize when I was recording this that, um, I had the settings messed up, so it's expecting a face cam there. But, you know, the attentive viewer probably has already realized something, but I'm actually acknowledging that. Now, obviously, if I was rec recording this right now and I was acknowledging it, that would be so neglectful on my behalf to not do anything about that. No, I am recording the audio afterwards, unfortunately. Um, either I didn't save the file or I accidentally deleted it, believing I was already done with it. Um, I don't know why I would have done that. But it does sound like something I might do. And oh, look at those little bunny children. Oh, they overpowered Mickey. Um, dang. They get gnarly quick. Just, it doesn't take too many, really. Um, but yeah, you turn on the TV to distract the little bunny children. Makes enough sense. Although, <laughs> in the Mickey Junk Mountain, there is a shaving cream bottle. Um,. That's funny. I, I guess it wouldn't surprise me that there might have been Mickey Mouse shaving cream. Okay, that does sound a little weird. Mickey Mouse shaving cream. But... I, oh, maybe it was whipped cream. Could I have been whipped cream? I think the spout says no. Or indicates no, but oh! We have a slowdown there. I, I totally forgot about that two times now. Oh, and look, there's a Super Nintendo cartridge there. Um, I'm not sure what game that is. But yeah, I forgot and, oh, Mickey Mousecapades. But, um, on the NES. But, um, in between my very first playthrough of this and the recording of this, I forgot about the time slow. And in the week and a half it's been since I've recorded this, I forgot about that again. So, maybe it's a mechanic that doesn't show up again after this? I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a slowdown or a stop on... Okay, could that be whipped cream? I can't get a good look at it yet. But, um... I was saying something. What was I saying? Damn you, whipped cream! That you, you made me lose my train of thought. Um, Kim escapades, whipped cream. Oh my goodness! What the heck was I saying? Oh yeah, um, there might be a slowdown in the sketches. Um, wow. Why can I not think of that? But anyways, um... Which, I kind of did forget about the sketches as well. Um, but I don't think we get to sketches until... Episode 7. Um, luckily I haven't lost the audio for that. Oh boy! I, I really hate... You know what? So, it's actually really infuriating because... Okay, the first two episodes, they came out fine. I mean, the audio is my quality audio, so... I won't say good or anything, but it is... Oh, I hate it when I do that. But, um... It's whatever. And, um... So, whatever. One and two, they're acceptable. Three and four, you have the little thing in the left corner. Um... Bottom left corner. Um... Five and six, you have that as well... But, I'm also doing it afterwards. I like that Mickey Mouse lunch pail. I just love the whole aesthetic of Mickey Junk Mountain. Just all the forgotten Mickey Junk from out throughout the years, because that's what Wasteland is. It's a land for, Disney, for Disney's forgotten characters. And items and whatnot. Although, there are some stuff that's like Wait, why is this in the way? Okay, well, some of it is act actually obvious because it's just Oswald trying to make recreations of 
long-lasting stuff, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some of these jumps can be pretty tricky. It can be tricky. Some of the make some of the Mickey junk is just downright creepy looking. Um, like, okay, th that one that was barely in frame a second ago. Um, it was weird. It, it the proportions are not. Oh, I hate. I forget that. Wait, no, no, no. The lunch pail is actually down. The lid is. So I actually don't have to go back and do all that. But I think I might actually go back and do it, or have I realized at this point? Um. Okay, no, I'm going straight after the gremlin. I might not have realized it, though. I would, I'm thinking maybe, ah, uh, screw it, gremlin first, but I don't know. And the gremlins aren't a necessary thing to do. Um. It's generally beneficial, and I'm sure there's a reason to rescue all of them. Although in 7 or 8, there is a gremlin like, I had no idea how to get to it, and I'm out of the area. Um, I think there's an area that I could go back to, though. But, anyways, so that's something to look for. Oh, I'm just giving spoilers. Sorry, um, that... Oh, I, swear, I was so lucky I didn't fall into the river there. But, um... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't do spoilers, but... Or, I shouldn't say spoilers, but... Um, yeah, I hadn't realized yet that it's still good. Oh, yeah, okay, so the Mickey that was right behind that TV, if you go back to it, that, that one is creepy. Or, okay, no, something else that's creepy. And I probably won't throw it up on screen because... Because I'm re-recording this, that is putting a big crunch. Okay. Snow White, and oh, I think I was stopping to observe it, um, like that is what I was doing. Oh, okay, Snow White would actually make sense, I guess, because, um, the dwarves, there are beards. Spray dump? Spray pump, maybe? Spray bomb? I don't know. But, um... I was saying something. Oh, yeah, I'm... Because I am having to re-record this, that is putting a big crunch. So I'm just gonna basically sync it, do a quick edit, and just get it out. But anyways, um... So, what I'm about to mention... I, I should have just mentioned it first before anything, but what I was going to mention, it was, um, the early Disneyland Mickey Mouse costumes. Those were terrifying. Like, oh man. Just, and jumping on Mickey heads, that's just a little unsettling. But, um, oh yeah, they're just downright terrifying, the early Mickey Mouse costumes. <coughs> Pardon me. Again, because of the turnaround, I'm sure I won't edit that out. Um, so, this is a rough episode, but yeah, okay. I hadn't realized... I should have realized that the number at the top wasn't increasing. But, I guess not. Tugboat Mickey. There's a comic back there that was called Tugboat Mickey. Um, what am I... I can't remember how I do get up there. Oh, I just remembered a puzzle that I got a little... Like, a room that I got a little stuck on. It's like, ooh, what's my commentary gonna be like during that? But that's a problem to... You know, that's a problem for a, just a little bit later. Let's talk about what's at hand. Um... I don't really like the Alpine um, climb. I, I forget what the short was called. But, um, the Alpine levels, I don't like them. Like, okay, the aesthetics are awesome. 
I will give it that. Like, look at that little sheep or lamb or whatever it is. Um, it's adorable, but I don't know. I just kind of want these level. A lot of it is because you have to wait for those things to lower or go up. You're you're waiting on the game. It's more annoying when you have to wait on it. Especially, I mean, okay. Of course, platforming, you have to wait for stuff. You know, you have to wait for certain platforms in Mario 64 or even older Marios. But, um... Um... It's usually fairly quick. You know? Just feels so slow in this. Oh, and I what was I thinking? I was way off on that one. I had plenty of time. In, just, although it is kind of neat how every layer, like these moving layers, are so intricate. Or maybe not intricate. No, that's actually the very opposite. Um, but there's layers to them. They're like onions and ogres. Um, got layers. Like, what? Thing that's pulling the thing that... The thing that's pulling the thing. Yes, I have... I, I have the best words. Um. Anyways. You know, just... The elements come back. You know, it's... Just kind of neat that they make me reuse different parts of the th same element. I don't know. I don't know. It's... I'm off work. It's the end of my day, so... My mind's a little gone. Yes, that's the only reason. It's not that, you know... Cannabis is good for your anxiety or anything like that. You know, I don't want to mention that because, you know, this is a Disney thing, and... I... I want to reach the the largest audience possible, but oh well. Yeah, I, like I've said before, I do record everything a little high. It's just good for my anxiety. Um, and you know, you might think, well, yeah, that's great and all, but why do you record high? It's like, well, if I'm really anxious, I'm not going to record. So, yeah. Weed is not always a burnout thing. You know, it gets a bad... There's a bad misconception about it. I mean, of course... Well, you've heard of how I talk. I lose my train of thought a lot. But, for me, it does make me get go out and do stuff. It does make me try new things. Is that true for everybody? No. Is it true for some people, though? Yes. And, I mean, yeah, of course I have couch lock highs. Don't get me wrong, those are some good ones, but, um, just, I don't know, it makes me less content with the status quo, I don't know, <laughs> Mickey Mouse shoe polish, that is weird. I'm pretty sure I, I stepped on that, for, or I was taking a little longer on that because I was observing that it was weird. Because it is! And I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Maybe some Mickey Mouse, um, uh, DDT, or, um, what's that stuff that Thin Deagle eggs, or at least that's what every- Oh, man, that was gnarly. I went all the way down. I forgot about that. Uh, DDT, yeah, that's the stuff that supposedly thinned eagle eggs, but it wasn't actually as bad as everybody said it was, and I don't know, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways. That. Um. And, you know, it really wouldn't be that weird, because there's actually a World War II era, um, cartoon about, like, mosquitoes and, um, where they breed and how to... Yeah, okay, I'm observing the shoe polish again. But anyways, um... You know, talking about the dangers of it and... You know, how to fight 
mosquito infestations, or maybe not fight the infestations, but to cut down on... Yeah. Okay, so I'm toying around there, just trying to figure out how I fell earlier, because I actually am not sure where exactly I fell. Um, but yeah, so there's um an anti-mosquito propaganda, I don't know what to call it, from the World War II era, and it stars the Seven Dwarves, and, well, actually, only part of it's the Seven Dwarves, but, um, yeah, they're doing stuff like clearing um, swampland and everything. I don't know, it just seems weird. It's like, yay, destroy the environment. Um, and I used to be a I used to be an active member on a Disney Land forum board. Um, I anybody that knows Disneyland probably can guess, but um, yeah. Anyways, um, there was all there were all these people. Um, okay, so a few years back, uh, it's a small world. It took me a minute there to remember what it is. It's a small world. Uh, t change the rainforest scene to an America scene. Uh, there's still a rainforest scene, it's just smaller and in, in a different area. And there was a whole bunch of, like, people who, in their signature, had, like, um, saved the rainforest and stuff like that, and it was often pictures of Mary Blair, like, designing It's a Small World or the rainforest scene. Uh, did I already state the rainforest scene was being moved for an America scene? I think I might have spaced that. Maybe I didn't, though. But, um... Yeah. You know, there's all that. So, you know, just to be an absolute poopy head, because, again, I'm, not, I'm trying not to swear, um... You know, just... Just to be a smartass, I, I can say that. Um... I took the clip of Doc clearing out the, um... Swampland, and... I put help Disney destroy the rainforest. I don't know. It, it, I, I just it amused me, I guess. And the World War II era stuff is an interesting watch. Like I do have the collection on DVD. I have never popped in the second disc though. Uh, Victory through air power. I believe that's what's called. I have never popped it in. I don't know. Just. I don't have that much interest in it, I guess? You know, it's just not the... Like, it's actually a... Fil uh, like, a film-length film. And, who knows, it might be overly Disney... Disney-esque, but I don't know. Um, but... It's not a wartime short. There's just something about wartime short that has a style all its own. Whether... Or not, the shorts themselves are good. Um, you know, there's a lot of... There's definitely racism. Not as bad as some of the Warner Brothers era World War II... Wait, did I discuss the World War II era cartoons earlier? Because I know last episode I was mentioning... Uncle Tom's Cabin cartoons. Um... So it wouldn't surprise me if I brought it up, but it's not as bad as, like, Warner Brothers World War II era stuff. Like, there's the aforementioned Uncle Tom's Bungalow, but that one's relatively tame compared to some of the stuff around the same era. Um, Uncle Tom's Bungalow might have actually been before American involvement in the war. Like, I believe it was 39, and... Yeah, I don't believe America was involved yet, and... I'm trying to figure out what to do with the dial pad, so it's going to take a while for me to figure out what exactly is going on there. Uh, and I paused it for some reason, but, um, oh, right, I was looking to see if I can find a code or something, like, to punch it. But, um, yeah, so Uncle Tom's Bungalow is relatively tame. Um, there is Coal Black and the Seven Dwarves. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. That one, I believe, was World War II proper, because the big, like, twist ending to that one is that it wants you to buy war bonds. 
So, that one definitely had to have been World War II era. Um, that one's pretty... That one's pretty bad. But, I personally think the worst one that I have seen... I haven't seen all of Warner Brothers Band 11. Just a f enough to know that I don't want to see all of them. Is, um... Clean Pastures. The premise of it is basically that not enough black people are going to heaven and an angel needs to come down to change that. I shouldn't have to point out anything that actually is in the cartoon. It's just the premise. That's the worst part about it. It... There's nothing, nothing decent about that cartoon. There's absolutely no, nothing that you can give it. It's not funny. I mean, none of the Band 11 are funny, but there's nothing in it that I can imagine got, a, you know, outrageous laughter. I mean, there are some characters that were brought into that that were reused in later stuff. Um, I can't remember what the other stuff is called. And, uh, what is up with that nut in the ground? But anyways, um... I don't know why I'm going on this tangent. You know... I'm not the best person to talk about racial stuff, you know, because I am, <laughs> my ancestry is mostly UK, so I have to check my privileges constantly. Um, what happened there? I have no idea what happened there. Just glitched, off, it just some odd glitch, but, um... Yeah, so again, I might not be the best person to talk about this stuff, but I can tell messed up when it's all when it's there. It's it's bad. Um. Anyways, what's my point? That was a long tangent. I apologize for that. Um. My point is, um, yeah, Disney's World War II stuff might not be. Any oh my goodness. And I just forgot some of the other Dis Warner Brothers Band Eleven. Like for the most part it's I really don't get it, but it's not it's mostly just anti black cartoons that are in their band eleven. But that's not necessarily true, even though a lot of those are during World War Two. And you would think if there's going to be any racist propaganda or any racist cartoons from that time, it's going to be towards the Asians. And yes, there is one from Warner Brothers um, that goes as that. But Disney has a few where it's like, yike. I said Asians, didn't I? I, I should have specified Japanese. Jesus, Tyler. But, um. Yeah. It's. Disney has several. Um, like I, the only two that I can say off the top of my head is five, one, one. I, I try to figure out the code later, but can never remember it. But anyways, um, yeah, just. So, uh, DeFiora's face has a less than fabulous caricature of Hirohito, as, uh, and Commando Duck has an unflattering caricature of... I have no idea what the Japanese military was called at the time. I don't know. Part of me, because I watch King of the Hill, wants to say... Oh, and I hope this isn't offensive, because it wouldn't surprise me if it was. Um, 
So part of me that watched King of the Hill makes me want to say, Tojo? Maybe? Because that's what Cotton Hill always refers to. Um. You know. His war stories, that's what he refers to the other side as. Um. I just don't know. I really don't know. Okay, I'm looking it up. It's not like I actually have to pay attention to what I'm doing in here, because... Oh, and by the way, spoiler alert, there's basically no reason for me to go that way. I don't... I don't know why that was any, is even an option. Maybe I go later? Well, I'm not even in Mickey Junk Mountain anymore, so I don't think so. But anyways, uh, what was I going to look up? Oh, Japanese Army name World War II. The Japanese Imperial, the Imperial Japanese Army, or IJA, literally Army of the Greater J Japanese Empire, or as it would be pronounced in Japanese, I suppose, Tiny Pon de Koko de Koku. Wait, Tai because isn't you? Anyways, I don't know. I really don't know. But the Imperial Japanese Army. I, I, I should have known that. Ah, I should have known it. Okay. So, oh, I just looked at how long I've been recording this one. It's not quite there yet, but I have to be aware of when I take a break in this, because I don't... I don't know what, where I originally said, hey, okay, this is where I'm calling it. So... I just have to be diligent to what I'm doing. Oh, actually, I. Well, I'm at it. I'm gonna look up what Tojo means. Deki Tojo. General of the Imperial Japanese Army. Okay. and the 27th Prime Minister of Japan during much of World War II. Okay. Okay. I see. Wait, so... And Prime Minister, what was Hirohito's power? I mean, was it at that point just... Um... Kind of like the... English monarch, like how they're they're there, but they don't actually do any governing. Now I'm pulling pulled up the Wikipedia page of Hirohito. Um, oh, he actually reigned until 1989. Huh? You would have thought so that part of post-war. Everything it would have been, um, you would have had to have given up. Mon well, again, monarchs don't always have the most power, so whatever. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the vi actually watching the video. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to. I had to look up if there was a code because I couldn't remember what the gremlin punched, and it's not there. It looks like 511, but I'm actually not sure. Yeah, I think I just end up damage boosting across the river. I think. Oh, but I'm trying to get back up there. For some reason. Um, I don't know. I think I was just getting trying to get a good viewpoint. Um, I think I just go on those platforms and damage boost. Nope, I guess I don't go on those platforms. That was dumb. 
five, two, one. No, I think it was five, one, one, but again, I really just don't know. You know, I really should have just taken out my tablet and looked it up. That would have been the most efficient way, but... Oh well. Just have to do things the stupid way sometimes. Although, it is also just trying to not, um... have to do more editing than I actually have to. Because... Why would... Or, you, you know, you need to work smarter, not harder. Is there some way I can get up that way? It does look like it. Looks like somewhere that you can go. But I can't find a way up. Ugh, oh, that was a terrible start. I should have at least tried to get on that one block. Ooh, boy. I honestly thought I was going to die again. Oh. And then, yeah, I'm there with one health. Knocked into the pit, into the thinner one time, and I am done. Oh, man. Or, you know, just get hit by a beak. But I think there was a checkpoint. That's right. Oh, sweet. I'm thankful for that. I hate the beetle warps. They're so obnoxious. Okay. Well, they're out of the way, so I just gotta deal with the blot leaves. They do look Mickey esque. They're little Mickey ears. Which I'm sure I've mentioned before. They're little Mickey ears, but. They have Mickey ears! You know, it's all simple. They have Mickey ears, so I gotta mention it. And that's the Alpine one again. I'm imagining. Yes, Alpine climbers. Okay. Recorded by High Fidelity Sound Systems. Like, I should be able to hear this. Like, nothing's muted. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, there's the sound. I've actually been doing this without the sound of the game the whole time. Um. Because, I don't know, I just... Just accepted that I couldn't hear sound. It's like, oh, okay, well... Something's wrong with the sound. We'll try to figure it out later. Like, I kind of knew it wasn't that the video recorded without sound, but anyways. Um, what was my point in all of that? But no, I just, uh, my video player, it was just muted. Oh, man. And I'm pretty confident that my first play through, the, through this, I did get all of the film reels. Oh, I'm actually going back down to get that one, aren't I? Okay. Just a little bit of a shame that you don't actually get to see all the reels that you collect. You know, you don't actually get to watch those cartoons. But I guess they are easy enough to find on the internet. I mean, I don't do that. Don't do that, people. Okay. I actually thought I was going to fall again. Yeah. Further up Mickey Junk Mountain. And I imagine I'm going to be calling it at the end of this one. Excuse us, we need to go see Oswald. Yeah, and yeah. For some reason, you power things up using a TV. 
I don't get it. Oh, and I... Ah. Uh, you remember that pickaxes, because I did not get it while I was down here, but... It's not saying I failed that yet, so... I must be able to come back to Mickey Junk at some point. Oh, that's another creepy Mickey head. Okay, and these ones... There's actually a real easy trick to take him out. Um, just thin the puzzles, because that's just straight up thinner under there. So, you just take the floor out under their feet. Take the floor out from under their feet. <laughs> Man, they really followed me. Is it just me, or do they kind of remind anybody else of the rabbits? Which, what the heck is up with that Nintendo Rabbids crossover? Or Mario and Rabbids? That's crazy. I mean, it does look kind of cute, but... It's like, what the heck? It just it seems like a weird concept. But, also at the same time, I kind of do get it. Okay, I think I paused there and like, Wait, what's, what was that at the top? Okay, it's just enemies or enemy groups that you have to take out. Okay. So definitely don't take that out when standing on top of it. But I think I do do that a time or two. But that should surprise nobody. I'm just stupid sometimes. Ah, yes, just that thing. Which I can't remember what those are called. Actually, it might be blotters. That does seem like a possibility. Hmm. I'll have to figure it out later. Okay. So, where do I call it? I might actually be calling it here. Um, no, I'm going around, try just to see what's in the other direction. Including the oldest pickaxe, or climbing axe, but, like I said, I don't actually get it. So, yeah. But yeah, that might just be some mosquito spray. It would not surprise me if Disney produced some mosquito spray. Oh, I'm out of paint. I'm like, why the heck am I only doing that? But, nope, I was waiting for the paint to come back. Okay, I thought it was going to fall in. I can't remember what those are called. Broomsticks. I guess we do we need to find uh, Gilda's climbing axe. Is it? Just, I mean, I, I can totally kind of see Disney producing mosquito spray. I just don't know why. I don't know why. I just do see that as a possibility. I don't know why I felt like I had to power the TV on. There's no real reason to. Ah, that makes that so much easier. Man, I cannot thin those. Where? 
is the pickaxe. Or, again, the climbing axe. Which, that reminds me, I really need to play Walking Dead sometime. The Telltale series. Um, well, heck, maybe even Survival Instinct at some point. But, um... So there's a character with a climbing axe in uh, Season 1. That's the only reason I mentioned that. Although, it is a good game series, so... I would totally be down for that. I just... The PS3 version, they do not have a new frontier, I believe. So, it's like, wait, if I'm going to record them, why? I, I want to be able to carry over from Episode 1 to a new frontier, even if it's not major consequences. Oh, and there's a creepy Mickey head again. Um, yeah, the consequences aren't really serious, but, you know, I do want them to carry over. Um, so yeah, I just need to get them on PC, preferably, but I don't have the best gaming PC. That Oswald does not look like Oswald in the... Okay, the actual cartoons, because that's an actual Oswald cartoon. Universal? No, no, no. Mickey's not what happened. Universal happened. Or more specifically, the dude Disney was working for him at Universal. Whose name I can't remember. Again, if you watch the Criss Cross Unscrapped episode, I believe there's mention in that. Who the dude was. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna call it here. So take care, everyone. Uh, remember, you are valid. Um. <laughs> if you like this one, like, comment, subscribe. Um. Don't know why you would, considering the post commentary, but bye bye.